Hi guys, welcome. Today we'll be building a keylogger. A keystroke logger is a piece of software or hardware which logs all the keys on the keyboard that are pressed. Some companies use keyloggers for monitoring their employees' works, also parents use them to supervise and protect their children. But attackers use a keylogger to steal important information. So bear in mind that this video is just for educational purposes only, and you shall not misuse this information to gain unauthorized access. With this being said, let's get started. Let's first install PyInput. From PyInput import keyboard. With keyboard.listener as listener, we call listener's join method, which blocks the main thread. Works exactly like a while loop, listening to the keyboard keystrokes. We assign onPress key pressed and unrelease key release functions for the listener. Let's create functions and pass an attribute to them. I name it key. When we press a button, key press function gets called and the key that was pressed is passed to it through key attribute that we declared. The same process is repeated when we release a key for the key release function. Now let's first create a list to store the pressed keys. Then in the key press function, we try to append the key that was pressed to the keys list and print the list for testing. If program couldn't append the key, we just pass and do nothing. In the key release function, if the key that was pressed is equal to escape button, Return false, which means break the listener and app gets closed. Let's test it. When I press a key, it gets added to the list as expected, and when I press escape, the app gets closed. Now we need to log the keystrokes and save it somewhere. For that, let's call log keys function and pass the keys list to it. For key list of keys, let's print k and its type. As you see, it looks like a string, but it's a PyInput custom class. So you first need to convert it to a string and remove the single quotation marks before saving it to a file on the hard disk. Result equals string of k and replace single quotations with nothing, which deletes them. Replace method looks for the first character that we pass to it and tries to replace it with the second character, which in this case is just an empty string. Let's see what result is now. Nice, we have keystrokes without quotation marks as a string. Now we open a file named log.txt in the append mode as log. And write result plus and space to it. I add a space to improve the readability. You can add dashes or nothing instead. And finally, outside of the for loop, we clear the list of keys, which is actually keys list, to avoid duplication of keystrokes. Let's test it. For example, I want to log into my Gmail account, which is test at sign gmail.com. I enter my password, which is secret pass 12345. And I press escape to exit the app. In real keyloggers, there is no such an exit button, and it's always running in the background. Let's see if log.txt file has been created in the directory that the script is running from. And this is how an attacker steals sensitive information. This was a very primitive and simple keylogger. If you like it, please tell me in the comment section below. And I expand the app towards a real-world keylogger, which logs the keystrokes every certain amount of time, and even takes screenshots of the infected system, and send them to owner of the keylogger. Once again, this video is made for educational purposes only, and other of this video, which is me, is not responsible for any misuse of this information. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to tell me in the comment section if you want the part 2 of the keylogger, to make it more advanced. Take care, see you later.